Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. Noble Rambler here, and and I'm just kind of looking out over our our landscape here. All of these projects are already queued up. Catherine, you've been talking about some plant that's like a flower that when you that they will get some kind of a sweet syrup out of, and you said it was near where Paulette was doing the stones. I'm going to guess you're talking about these, but I never thought of these as a flower. That's what probably caused the confusion. We're called a tube plant. So we've got one set to observe. Let's get Simon to do that today and figure out just, just what those are. So that might be solving that mystery. And I realized that I never put tea on any of the shelves. So I just reset that while I was waiting to get this thing started. Tea is in others. We put foods and cook meals and things, but there's some foods not in foods. Yeah, that's that should be with cooked meals as far as I'm concerned, but they didn't ask me. <laughs> anyway, let's get this thing rolling. We're at 3 in the morning on the 15th day. Can I guess 10 days per season? 12? We went through spring. We're not quite halfway through summer. So I'm going to say 12 days per season. So is a year 48 days. That I ask myself. Sun is coming up. Everybody sound asleep. What is on the list today? We're on slow that speed down. Paulette's up and getting ready to do some cooking. Um, since we've ruined the grass over here anyway, how about we build some beds? Well, let me just build them Boy, there's a lot of choices. So we need wood, or we need synthetics. Now we'll save the synthetics, or we need leathers, which we haven't made yet. So we're going to go with, with cloth. But if I were to make four beds out here, rather than destroy the sleeping spots and then hope the beds get made before it's time to go to sleep, veggie armor. Yep. And I think I saw the veggie armor when I was editing it's, there's not a category that says armor. That's what I was looking for. It must be... Hey, Paulette, reach cooking five. Congratulations. No, I was thinking it was maybe just one of the choices. But no, there's still no armor. At least not... Warm leather pants padded with textiles. Light textile trousers and light textile pants. So I still don't know how you make the armor. I... You'd think there'd be a category that says armor, and am I just blind? We'll try one more thing, boots. No, just the same groups that were there. Um, one thing we did see were hats, and these are the same hats. There's no helmet or anything like that. So maybe we have to produce our first leather, which means we have to harvest our first, um, boy, what do we call them? Skin barks. Let's set you up for harvesting. So we're going to harvest you, we're going to harvest some of those, and Simon is up finishing off what? Coffee! <laughs> Alright, let's get the coffee done. There it is, he's going to work on instruments next, but Simon, how are you looking? You need some food, and your happiness is actually pretty low right now, so let's get you... Well, I'm going to get you a buttermelon pie. We'll just order you up the good stuff. And when you're done with that, come on over and tell me what these are. So observe two plants. Carter, you are still sleeping. Okay. Rita is still sleeping. Paulette, how are you doing? You're actually in pretty good shape. Despite all that, are you snoring? No, she's tailoring and disturbing their sleep and <laughs> I'm hearing these noises all around me yeah the tailoring is quite noisy yeah anyway get a little distracted there what was I saying beside even though you you're in good shape all the way through you still don't have that great of a of a mood that's interesting um, oh, wait a minute. I'm looking at the wrong thing here. Here's your mood. You got lots of green over there. Okay. Rita discussed the abundance of food with Paulette. You know, you probably need to get cooking a little bit more often. Yep. 
And what did that do? Did Paulette get a uh, an annoyance as a result? No, she's oh, that's opinions. Um, was delighted by Rita. Okay, so she must have agreed with her. So anyway, Rita, you are transporting. I want you to boy. Let's get some. Well, I don't want to lose the. Where are they? Did we lose them already? We had. I'm expecting to see a whole bunch of berries. There they are. Can you come pick up the... Boy. Yeah, I guess haul them. I would like for you to be harvesting instead. But if I have Paulette come and haul them, there's some... then we're not getting our food cooked. How are we doing on food? We're actually doing pretty good. Okay, pause. Paulette, instead, you come and cut, haul... No, I can't do it until Rita says you have permission. So, Rita, why don't you clear out a bunch of skin barks? Harvest those and harvest those. Paulette, you come on over. Collect the goods from last time. Haul them. Hopefully, yeah, you're coming over here to get that one. So hopefully it means you're going to make a nice white arc and pick them all up. And that gets you guys going. Carter, you are... I wanted you to build some beds, but I am so thankful to get this house done, I don't want to tell you no. So, but that means we're then out of wood. Yeah, so we can't build beds anyway. So, sorry Carter, but I guess you are stuck cutting trees. What are you naturally going to do? You're going to go cut a log. Let's get some more significant things done. If I can grab, just click in the whole area. Now, I want to get down to that trunk. There. There. Turn yellow. Turn yellow. Can't do it. Okay. Carter. We'll grab it from... There's one of them. Hmm. That's what I got before. I was hoping it was going to say cut five broadleaf trees because it's all in this big group. But that didn't seem to be a thing. So I guess I just have to cue them all up individually. And one over there. Cut. So you work on those. Uh, insufficient materials, yeah, we're working on that. In fact, that ought to get us ahead on wood for the first time in a long time. So Rita is taking these guys down, dropping them on the ground. Paulette came back with 240, which seems to be the max they can carry. So can I? There's still 60 there, 90 there. So it's going to take two trips. Um, I'll have Rita come back and harvest these next. How you doing? Um, no risk of meltdown, your food, you can get away, I think, with one more round. Let's have you come and harvest these bushes. So when you finish those, you get those, and hopefully haul the rest of the berries back. Yeah, in here. Simon, you are over here, you're halfway through, telling us what a tube plant is. Cathro was saying something about a sweet syrup that they can put on their food, makes them happier. I'm all for happier, so let's let's do that. But Paulette is transporting, and she's not in a great mood right now, so we're going to let her do whatever she wants to do after that. 1,400, she's already missed her chance to to recreate. But we'll... Uh, she need food? She could use a meal. Maybe we should drop that off and grab a meal. If not, we will we will coerce her to grab a buttermelon pie. So dropping those off, she's still got 180. She's grabbing, now let's grab this instead. There, you go down, sit down with Carter and maybe you two will have a uh, interesting conversation. You do tend to kind of like each other. So Paulette likes Carter 11. Carter likes Paulette 14. But they didn't have a conversation. So let's see, you are constructing a bed from logs way up there. Now, so I guess you've ignored all of those other orders. So let's, let's see. How do I get you to turn yellow? Boy, I won't do it when I'm this close. Right there. I clicked the wrong button. Try it again. All right, cut two big trees. That's kind of what I wanted you to do earlier. So you go cut the trees. And these don't have to be built today. I just wanted to get them on the ground and, and out in, in my face so I remember to do it. Um, 
craft shelves, no raw food. Oh, I must have seen something as I was editing. This group here still has raw food checked. Okay, we'll turn that off. Any of it land in there? No, so it wasn't a thing. Okay. Otherwise, what other notes from last time? Make hats. Ah, okay. So Paulette is cooking. And is she in better shape after her meal? Yeah, she's she's doing fine now. Meal wise is here five, two, four, and four. Carter reached physical five. Good. And we did coffee. Let's get coffee in there. So hot drinks. Let's throw some coffee in and until there's four like all the rest of them. Boil grain in a rejuvenating cereal. Grain. How much grain do we have now? We still have about 400. Okay. Anything rotting on the shelves? And what do you do with rotten things? Is there... There's no storage category for rot or refuse or trash or anything like that. So I don't see a way. Deselect. Don't store rotten. None of that's here. Like RimWorld. So storage... I don't know how to throw away things. Uh, furniture. There's no sense of a garbage can. So if you know that answer, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Because I'm really not sure. Um, Paulette is getting wood. Oh, she's making another spear. That's a good thing. Do we have any more? We don't. So yeah, we'll, we'll definitely want to get a spear on everybody. And am I correct, Paulette? We discovered... Heptagonia. That must be the tube plant. I'll wait a second here. But Paulette, you can carry your gun and your spear. That's what I wanted to make sure. The gun is at 88% and you only shot one time last battle. Carter shot a lot and he's at 89%. Paulette, 89%. So they must just wear out over time, no matter how much you use it. That's a shame. That doesn't seem reasonable. Hmm. It seems like they should be good until they're they're worn out, not because they're two months old. Oh well, that means we need to get on to uh, uh, research and get up to guns as fast as we can, which is what railgun snipers, right there. So to get that, I have to have electronics crafting. Crafting. We have to find nanotubes, power cells, and CPU cores. Hmm. Yeah. Nanotubes scare me a bit. Nanotubes are up here. Right over... Where'd you go? Wow, I went past you completely. Where did they go? Aren't they just like right over here? There they are. That's the source for nanotubes. Not many of them. Well, but there's enough. Yeah, they're not rattling right now. When they rattle, they get kind of scary. Now they're kind of docile right now. I wonder if there's a certain time of the day that it's best to attack these guys. Hmm, but that's nanotubes. And we need those to make... What's the name of the rifle? <laughs> Railgun snipers, there we go. Snail gun rifers, yeah. Um, turn this back on again. Ida's reading. Yeah, I think my, my, my talkie's all broken tonight. Um, Simon is researching. All right, musical instruments. Let's get that going. Let's do that. And Rita, when you're done, I was going to have you go and get those. I was. Yeah, we'll save this for tomorrow. But I do want to get these before they rot out in the field. So, Rita, when you're done, your mood is actually quite low because I didn't let you recreate. So, you had that that conversation with Paulette, but I'm going to get you, when you're done, to come over here and stare at these shroom torches for a while because they, has, they just have this mesmerizing effect that make people go, woohoo! And that, I think, you could use a little bit of. And when you're done with that, yeah, we're already at 1900. Wow. Who does have a little bit of stamina left? Uh, not Carter. Paulette is actually in the best shape. 
She's making our... I think that will save. I don't think we will lose it. So, Paulette, let's run you out to get those berries. Yeah, I think that would be wise. I think I saw one in here, right? Uh, 30. Why don't you come out and try that again? Why can't I haul? Because I don't have anybody chosen. There we go. You haul those. And we'll get those on a shelf. Hopefully they rot slower on a shelf than outside. In fact, I can tell you right now. If we were to go to here. Outside 12 days. So we could have waited till tomorrow. In fact, we can. That way Rita can actually go and harvest the rest of them. And bring them in. Okay, that's a wiser use of our time. Anyway, 12 days out there or 36 days here. Okay, so we will do that. Can we ferment? There was a something about the berries being good for wine, but apparently that's not in a fermenting bottle, a uh, bar barrel. Anything to do with a press and berries? No, that's not a thing either. Okay, then Paulette, you go back to doing what you wish and Rita is going to go observe those and then she's going to come over and harvest oh let me click out of that let's set the whole thing for harvest yeah we'll go ahead and grab that she'll harvest as much as she can so when you're done you will harvest a bunch of heptagonias let's read that new discovery the strange plant may be a rare thing native to this world I named it Heptagonia because of its distinctive shape. It produces a sweet syrup. Ah, these are the ones. Which can be harvested and used for cooking. I wouldn't say no to drinking it raw either. It seems to be safe. Unlocks sweet, the harvesting sweet syrup and planting of Heptagonias. Okay. We won't plant any more of those right now. We do seem to have a lot of them around. They show up really well at night. So we'll mark a bunch of those for harvesting. Um, we still have plenty of the corn on the shelves, so we don't need that. We still have plenty of hay, so we don't need to harvest these. Cotton? Where would that be? Right in there. So cloth, 130. And is what do we have in the way of a shelf life for this? Um, under roof is indefinite. Okay, so... We could pull these out of the field and maybe get one more round, and then we can spend the winter making clothes. That's possible. Um, if we needed more glitter caps, which I'd say we should for the shroom lamps. And how are we doing up here? Carter, what you up to? You are making beds. Okay. Oh, you're, you've made beds. Woohoo! Nobody go to bed yet. We are going to shift our sense of priorities here and get a better night's sleep so deconstruct uh is there a f oh we have to manually do that um let's do this this way deconstruct you you and you wait a minute why didn't that work orders deconstruct you hold to deconstruct do i i can't be paused is that what's going on Oh, that's not a sort of thing that would deconstruct in that same way. So I guess I have to still flag it. Okay, we'll do that. I was hoping for a shortcut. Okay, so Carter, as soon as you finish building this one, you are going to walk straight over here and deconstruct two and deconstruct two. Then we get those beds moved in and get a nice night's sleep. Otherwise, who's doing what? Paulette is... Move that. She is crafting the spear. Good. Rita is over here harvesting. And Simon is working on musical instruments. Now, let's get you moved. R. There we go. And... I'll just pause you for a moment. So, which one was that? I'm assuming it was that one, but it... There it is. I wish there'd be a mark on there so I'd know. So, move 
for those of us who spend more time talking than rem oh interesting you can't walk over a bed to get to the other bed so shroom torch is out in that position because we're going to block this position interesting at least that's my assumption let's prove that it won't let me put this here if that's the case yeah because we're blocking access to both sides of that one shelf unit there because you can't reach over and put it on the shelf yeah all right so carter you work on both of these beds and we'll move this third bed over to here move and r three times and we're gonna have to move the shrooms they can be outside right i don't get any sense not so hmm put you over next to the research desk i guess so move you over to here and so carter when you do those two beds you will then do this and then i can place the last bed <clears throat> all right um, how you doing, Rita? Let's watch the animations on this one. Those things are huge! <laughs> They're like two feet around, three feet around, and uh, two and a half to three feet tall. Wow. Oh! So you're not taking down the tube. You're just pulling out what's inside of them. Am I getting that right? Uh, you're just extracting the syrup. Is that what we're going with here? I think it is. Okay. Whoa, someone's happy. Oh, we've researched cereal coffee. Okay. Um, we've read that once before. Okay, so you're moving the shroom torch. And... Paulette, was that where Paulette was before? I think it was, and Simon was there. So you move the shroom torch. Carter uh, thought he was going to bed. Oh, <laughs> Simon's moved out to here. All right, so let's get you moved to there. Carter, you can move the wooden bed. And then this bed, I will... Well, we'll let him move that first. Then I'll wake up Simon. I could have someone else move it too, couldn't I? In fact, I could have Simon move it. Yeah. Let's do that up there. And Simon, can you please install that bed for me? Um, that was the wrong button. And you're... It went back. Okay. Well, let's try this again. Move you... I'm going to have to reassign everybody, but move you to there. And move you to there. I guess, Simon, why didn't I have the option that I expected to have? Okay, Carter, you think you're holding it. You're going to sleep. Okay, move wooden fabric bed. And now Simon gets up. So the problem is he's set to do two of them. Simon, this is your bed now and currently unavailable to sleep in wooden fabric bed because it's been reassigned and you're trying to sleep in this one i don't know but simon you're in good shape otherwise but let's go ahead and give you some darts for a while while we're waiting and once carter gets that move let's see what happens and good you're moving the other one and i want this bed to be simon's Change owner to Simon. There we go. This bed is Rita's. So change owner to Rita. Does it say Rita? It does, right there. And she's going to sleep. This one will be Carter's. And I won't have to assign it because it's the only one left. Okay, you're playing darts. You're probably in good enough shape right now. Let's get you to bed. And there you go. Now you have the faster 
move speed. That's why you always seem to be running. And you're going to get something to eat. All right, so that takes care of that <laughs> that fire drill there. <laughs> so there's still a couple more of these to do, but next tomorrow we're going to get Rita out there. Rita, uh, she could do it before she got a meal. Yeah, so we'll set up your first order as to come out here and harvest. Right there. In case that didn't grab, we'll do... Yeah, it looks like it's all 11. Okay, so that's your job first thing in the morning. Um, that's a new song. It's not the... Hello? Where'd you guys come from? Oh. Are you going to start eating my crops? I don't have any fences up. I bet you you are. Yeah, I think we may have to do our first hunting. Now yeah, we'll, we'll give them a little bit of time. What was that noise? It's them. Or is it the wind? Well, they make a noise. Interesting. Well, they haven't eaten our crops yet. And I hate to give us more projects and kind of uh, delay things further, but it feels like what I need to do is to get a fence in. Fence would be defense. Yeah, fences are in defense. That's right. Wooden fence. Let's put you up like there. And am I going up any higher? I think we'll stop there. To the pathway. Oh, there is a pathway that comes out of over there. We'll just stub you off a little bit there. And fence there, there. Now these, what, what, what am I actually doing here? Fence, you take two wood and you take three sticks. Integrity of 10, integrity of 20. Integrity of 50 when we get into some serious wood, but let's just call that good there. I don't know how much I want to commit to this because this garden may actually go further out. It actually might. So I'm just going to come down a little like that and stop. And basically what I'm saying is cross that line and you're going to be hunted. Don't cross that line and we'll leave you alone. So, insufficient materials, yep. And if Carter were to come out here first, he already ate. So if he came out here and did this first, maybe he will actually spook them away just by walking near them. That's possible. Otherwise, we're going to find out what hunting's all about in this game. <laughs> so Carter's got a job lined up. Rita's got a job lined up. I am playing. Simon is going to... Um, he's good on... Where's Simon? He was good on his relaxation. He could... Well, I think 50% is where they start to get hungry. I better just set him up to grab some food. Any food that is better than 20% integrity left? <laughs> Not going to do that one again. But let's set him up just to grab a grain porridge when he wakes up. And then get out here and do what? Let's grab another berry. Let's research this one. Berry plant. Oh, we seem to have spawned in quite a few more animals. So what else has changed around here? I have been doing my nightly uh, tours of the area. So anything else pop in? Yeah. Now these guys are meat and leather. We might want to just go ahead and do a little bit of hunting, huh? It might be wise. Boy, I wish I had refrigeration going, though. Was that your noise? Heard a, heard a noise. I'm almost expecting a moo out of here. Boy, they make them so cute and cuddly. You just, you don't want to hunt them. Yeah. Where was the other group? Out here. So the, the, when, they, when they put them in family units, well, you don't have any cute and cuddly kiddos. So maybe we'll set you to hunt. And not feel quite so guilty. <laughs> um, I'm not sure who would even trigger for hunt. 
Uh, Paulette is going to melt down. I haven't assigned you to anything. So, Paulette, you are lacking pretty much everything. You really want to get that spear done, but let's give you... If I were to just break, would you go and do something like eat? Nope. That was you, right? Yeah. So let's just tell you to... Uh, I guess eat some grain porridge. So are we kind of running out of choices, or are they all sitting on other shelves? They might be. So what's over here? Uh, no, those are supplies. We've got pies. There is where all the meals are. Okay. But you do that, and that will give you a little bit of a boost. Rita's going to go grab those. Simon's going to go do that. Um, Carter's going to grab some of the wood that he left on the forest floor back here and go and put a fence up. And no, they didn't go in and eat our goods. Okay. Then wintertime they probably would. If these are even still here in the winter, I don't know. But when the natural foraging starts to go away, then I would imagine they would come in and uh, try to get into our, our crops. We need to pull these off the ground soon. Uh, shelf life, 20%. So we, when they're on a shelf, we get this great pop-up. But when they're here, oh, there we are. Where'd you go? Right there. So outside they do decay, but under a roof they're indefinite. All right. That's what I wanted to see. So otherwise, anything else new pop into our area? Still have our insufficient storage space. For which? No, that wasn't Rita. The uh, pop over to Paulette. She probably just finished the spear. No, she was eating. She was cooking. So what are we low on? It was the berries. Okay. So we need more storage space yet for kitchen. Hmm. That's the only shelf that's left that's not dangerously full. Because they haven't moved things. Yeah. But still, temporarily, all right, we'll just turn it on. You can take raw foods. And we do need to get... Oh, I need to get somebody to move the cloth, the cottons over there. And the clothes over there. And that will clear up space over in that area, too. But Rita is still harvesting. It's strange that they came up, so she apparently tried to uh, to bring it home and couldn't. Or we had an incomplete pile and she finally made enough to overwhelm that and there wasn't a space for the rest. That sounds about right. You haul back what you can. Insufficient materials. Boy, you're just going crazy. Insufficient materials. Oh. You're resetting with each fence. Is that what's going on? Because, yeah, each time you put a fence, it recalculated. Okay. Um, I'm curious. hate to bug you, but I want to experiment on something. If I had you walk out here, do you scare him away just by being present? Yes. Okay. Now, what's the red that just popped up all over? Oh, that's where you can no longer shoot. Okay. So, turn you off. You go back to constructing fences. We scared him up there, and he's going to bark at us a little bit. Yeah, he's all excited. <laughs> oh, what a weird creature. Okay, well, you put some fences up over there, and, boy, if you've got any more reserve, now nah, you need to relax. I better just leave you alone for that. Okay, let you relax. Our pumpkins just came in. And more glitter caps are needing to be harvested. Um, where is everybody? Rita's on her way in with another 240. And... Boy, I hate to keep sending you out. Have we collected most everything from last time? Zoom in a little bit. I'm not seeing... Oh, there's 60 left there, but only 60. Ah, oh, there's 30 and 90 over here. It's a long way in to make that trip. But once they're gone, they're gone. So, anyway, let's look at research. We did clear a space. Winemaking. 
from the fermentation barrel. Okay, that explains it. So we can use the what looks like grapes or berries to make wine, but we have to figure out how to do it. And is that more important than working our way down a railgun snipers before the guns wear out? No, it's not. So I need research electronics crafting. Do you guys see that? Scroll down a bit. Electronics crafting is all the way down there, which needs the electric grid, which is right there. Okay. And fuel fermentation might not seem that important, but I'm thinking I'd kind of like to get the hot air balloon going sooner than later. Where did it go? I thought it was near the top up here. There you are. Um, something's going on. Beef berries. Oh. Um, long distance travel. We have to make the fuel first. There's a chance we could find other survivors out there, which means more mouths to feed in a fifth bedroom, but it also means more hands on deck to get things done. So I'm thinking fuel and send somebody off, and that's got to figure out just who to do that. You want to send somebody who is intelligent. You want to send somebody, which is, you know, Rita or Simon. You want to send somebody who has the strength to carry heavy things back. That's Carter. And you want to send someone with good gun skills to defend themselves while they're out there. So who to send out on an expedition? Let's see. Skills. Carter's got the physical. He doesn't... Well, he's got three in intellect. And he's only got two in combat. Rita's got the three in combat, three in intellect, but not the physical. Simon's got the, the intellect, but no physical. And back down with Carter on combat. So there is no clear-cut certain person to send out on expeditions and know that we're going to get everything out of it that we could. So, uh, we'll see. Uh, handling wall torch. Okay, so Paulette is working on handling. Still not in the greatest mood, but she's not uh, absolutely falling apart yet. That's Paulette. Uh, Rita was handling the, the torch. Ah, okay. So Rita is also low mood. Simon, average mood. We think we missed, both of them missed their chance to do some recreation. So has this been restocked? It is not. So do you make a new one at the end? Or do you refuel it? Paulette, just out of curiosity, you can appreciate and you can refuel. There you go. Do Are five enough to refuel it? Uh... Apparently not, and she said, well, that's not happening, so why don't you come over here and appreciate it then. I take it you don't have that 18 on you. You don't. Okay. So that'll help you out. Rita, you've got all kinds of pluses in there. Paulette, did you need to eat? Nope. You're, you just need the relaxation, then you'll be fine. Okay. Simon is back working on musical instruments, and that's okay. He got the other ones done. Speaking of the other ones, beef berries. This fragile-looking berry plant is surprisingly tough and manages to stay upright under the weight of its heavy fruits. The berries themselves don't look very appetizing when small, but seem to become nice and juicy when ripe. I'll name them beef berries because they are somewhat similar to that vegetable that goes well on beef sandwiches. Tomatoes? Or at least so I've heard. <laughs> so it's a great big blue-purple tomato. Okay, harvesting of beef berries and planting of beef berries. Okay, and that's not something that I see much out here. If I were to double click, uh, double click, there we go. We have a patch over here, a long walk in still, but I've not seen very many more of those, so that's probably something that we actually want to plant. And beef berries kind of doesn't like right over here you do like right here though so let's give you a patch right in that area there's 99 percent growth yeah we'll make you beef berries and rita what are you actually up to right now uh you're handling a shroom torch did i click on paulette to do that is that why i must have i mean i must have clicked on rita instead of paulette 
Yeah. Insufficient fuel. Okay. Um, handling a campfire. I guess I better let you handle for a while instead of going down there and planting. I guess tomorrow's a planting thing. Yeah. Well, yeah. We'll see. We'll let you do a few more things and maybe we can pull off both. I'll just watch you here for a while. Just made... Why did the two... Where's Paul at? Why did the two uh, uh, buttermelon pies just pop up in the air there? I don't know. You're handling a furnace? Okay, I'm going to distract you and have you come and plant a bunch of beef berries. Very good. And Carter, what are you up to? Oh, good. So we get a little more of this done. Maybe next episode we'll get our first two bedrooms in. And I never noticed. Carter, you slept in a good bed. Slept in a comfy bed. Another plus nine for the day. Good. Okay. Um, I wonder if at the beginning of the day it also says got a good night's sleep. I wonder if there's multiples. But get that one done. And what's the chance I can get you to reload this wall? Or the rest of the walls? Is there enough wood floating around anywhere? Nope. You need to go and start cutting. Okay. Alright. You just go and do your thing. You know what you're doing. So Simon is grabbing a meal. Rita is planting. She'll probably plant until it's time to fall asleep. And but sure, she's no risk of meltdown. Paulette, you are determined to get those done. Simon, when you're done, come on over here and pick up a... A... Are we still working on that very first um, spear? No, there's a spear over there. What was that noise? Don't know, but Simon, when you're done, there, equip a spear. Let's get spears on everybody. Rita, before you leave, let's have you harvest some glitter caps real quick. That was the right one, right? Harvest field, yeah. Cut and cancel. Okay. So harvest a few of those. That way we've got some in stock, whether we get them on the shelf tonight or not. At least we'll uh, we'll have some available to us, and what else has changed out over here? A lot of them have moved in. Yeah. So hunting. What does that mean? Um, activities. Hunting is a two for Rita. When she's done planting and handling, so she almost got to it. If I hadn't assigned her to uh, to plant. Okay, so maybe next episode, if things don't get crazy, we'll go and hunt. We'll get some meat hanging in here, some leather in here as well. How are these guys doing? They are almost there. Next episode, we're going to get to uh, find out what the tobacco is like. The, the, the smoke leaf. Yeah. So, last minute checkups. You did get your spear. Are there any more spears in stock? Not yet. Rita is harvesting. That's enough to do the job. I'm going to undraft, or let you choose what you want to do. You are planting. Yeah. How about I just have you haul these in? So much for choosing what you want to do, but yeah, let's, let's work on our priorities there. Um, can you not get more of them? Okay, Carter, you get the rest of these. Hauling glitter caps, please. Thank you. And Paulette is making some more pies. Simon is researching musical instruments. And I think that kind of calls this one done. Yeah, I'm 40 some minutes into it. So stopping the middle of the night seems to be the right thing to do. Let's me figure out what their next day is going to be like in between episodes and kind of get kind of push them off in that direction um, but let's do take a little tour through see what I've missed and I've just noticed this guy what is the closest one of those to camp what was that noise is that what the where'd you go I just saw a dragonfly flittering around over here he may have oh he might have just gone to sleep. That's why his noise stopped. But 
aggressive bugs. And they're right kind of on top. Well, they're back behind here. Oh, you're different. What are you guys? So we've got... Oh, six scarabay and two explosive scarabay. Uh huh. Now, where are you going to go right off the bat? You're sleeping. <laughs> I think I better let us sleep too. Yeah. So, midnight. Somewhere just before dawn, they're probably going to come and pay us a visit. Yeah. Okay, well, I think uh, that means, well, let's wander around just a little bit. That kind of derailed me, but still I want to know what else is in our area. I think you're the squeak that I heard, then you immediately fell asleep. Pretty sure that's what that was. Um, that's what I was saying. Are there any more of these around? Is that our closest? Because I do want to get those researched. Any of them right in here? Yes. So what's closer? You, you, you're about the same. But over here, I can see Simon as he is observing it. In those trees, I cannot. and don't know what's sneaking up on him. Now, over here, these are all glowing glitter caps. So that's not it, or that's not what I'm looking for. And there's nothing in this forest either. No. Okay, so that's over there. Any more critters show up in this area? Uh, you were probably already here. And there were some birds down here at one time, but I think they picked on the wrong enemies and pretty much ended themselves. There's a baby one. Bloated insect. A baby jelly bug. Otherwise, I think it's just the, uh, the walking leather and meat and our new brood of flatheads flatheads and what are you what's the game calling you guys you're called bighorned okay so that's all that's new to our area i wonder how often the game spawns new things in but let's call this one done it's been noble rambler and i will catch you next time folks Bye bye